still need to unpack from Japan. My absolute least favorite part of anything is unpacking. I absolutely hate it and I'm horrible at it. We did it. Also, when will I learn to become a light packer? Um, makeup. I mainly needed my makeup out of this, but this is a good reminder to fully unpack. One thing I've recently gotten way better at is bringing a hamper with me, like a little laundry bag, so that way all of my dirty laundry is already in this, so that way it's just so much easier to sort it all, and I feel like my clean stuff feels clean still because it's not right next to like nasty stuff. So that means we also have laundry to do. All right, I'm not sure if you can hear in my voice, but <sighs> I'm sick. Believe it or not, I am way better than I was. Honestly, the only update since the last time I, the last time I saw you was at the airport to Japan. Obviously, we came home after that, if you saw the last vlog. The second we landed, <clears throat> I felt a cold coming on, and I was like, oh no. It's honestly been so long since I've gotten sick, but I've been taking up on vitamins and like the... I've been taking these, you know, the, the shots, the like ginger shot, like the, those types of like vitamin shot things. And I'm finally feeling so much better today, but please comment below any, any cold tips, hacks. I'm sure some of your like grandmothers know some real like shit to do, but again, this is the best day that I've had. The past like three days, I've just been laying on the couch or laying in bed so much that my back is actually what's bothering me most now. It's so inflamed. It hurts so much just to lay down. And I feel like it's just because I've been laying down for so long. So it's like, I'm just, I'm old. I'm like, is this 30 y'all? What? But getting ready today, I have a little bit of work to do. And honestly, I just wanted to not be laying down all day and like be up and moving and stuff. So we threw some makeup on and we got ready. And I desperately need to get better because as you can probably tell from the title, we're jet setting again. I think the last time I traveled this much was 2018. Like that year I was on the go mo so many times. This year it feels like that's happening again. Yeah, it feels weird, but it feels normal. It's so weird. It's just like, it feels like back to normal post, you know, everything. But yes, I'm actually going to Italy for the first time ever and I'm so, excited you guys i've never been like i've never been to italy and this trip is even more exciting because we're actually going for our friend's wedding it's a destination wedding i've never i don't think i don't think i've ever been to a destination wedding and i've never been to italy i feel like i've just it's always been on my bucket list to go there so i'm so excited i'm really excited i ordered some clothes they came in so i have a little haul for you guys also if you have any wrecks in italy um please send <laughs> Italy haul, let's go. I am gonna say this video is sponsored by ThreadUp, so I didn't pay for these. They basically were like, hey, Alicia, we wanna work with you again, and we love you, and I was like, ah, what the fuck, thank you. Honestly, it worked out perfect because I have this trip coming up, and I was like, this would be, a, like, everything, ah, uh, yes. Did that make any sense? No. When I was in Japan, we went to a lot of different vintage stores and consignment shops, and they were so much fun. I will say it is a bit overwhelming because you really have to be ready to dig and look through everything. But the reason why I love ThreadUp so much is because you can actually just shop online. You can filter through things. There's a website and an app. So basically you can thrift out of the comfort of your home and you can filter everything. You can search by new with tags. A lot of these brands are up to 90% off. Like they're so discounted. Ah, I'm so excited. Like I've never been to Italy. I don't say this enough, but I can't thank you guys enough for like even the, the, the fact that these brands want to work with me. I'm just so aware that it comes from you. And I know I'm sick and I sound disgusting, but I love you so much. Like, I don't know. I'm just emo now. Okay, ew. <laughs> <laughs> The first thing is this shirt from Banana Republic. It's a full button down that looks like this, but my favorite part are the sleeves are actually like super feminine because they cinch in right here and they have little bows right here. Okay, please don't judge my sweat short choice, but this is the top. I love how it's cinched. I'm obsessed with the bows. I also most likely will wear it cropped like this. So cute. Okay, the estimated cost of this shirt is $70. Keep that in mind. I paid $15.60, insane. I'm obsessed. Next thing I got is this really pretty dress. It's this black, like silky, just a little black dress. I feel like this is such a must for everyone's closet. Let me just say, being sick and doing a haul, like a try on, like I feel like a meatloaf right now. I feel so bad. So it's just so funny knowing when I actually wear this out, how done up I'm gonna look versus now. But this is the Fleur de Mar. Fleur, 
fluid de mat. I kind of feel like wearing it like this too. Oh, it's just so cute. It's so sexy. The estimated price for this is six hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's a lot. But guess how much I paid? You're gonna scream. I paid sixty-eight dollars and twenty-five cents for this $600 dress. I really like the shoulders off. The next thing I got is this really pretty orange, like sherbet colored dress. This is by the brand Marciano. The estimated value, $178, okay? I got it for $28.60. Okay, this is the Marciano dress. So even though it's more of a tank top vibe, I think I would even wear it off the shoulders. I feel like it's just so much cuter that way. Also, when we were shopping in Japan at all the consignment stores, I kept wanting to get a thin watch like this, but they were so expensive. Like they were so expensive. I haven't been a watch girly in a really long time, but I kind of like, I kind of love this. This was only $12.35. Mind blown. And it honestly looks just like all of the designer ones I saw in Japan. This is the last thing. It is this green wrap little crop top. It's really girly, it has flowers on it and just like these little ruffles. And honestly, I feel like green is the one thing that my hair looks really good in. This is another example of exactly what I picture for Europe. Just like a breezy top in case it's really hot. I think it's actually not gonna be too hot. Something you can just kind of throw on that's super comfortable, but also super cute. Again, the green with the red hair is just a vibe. So if you've never shopped at ThreadUp before, honestly, now is the absolute best time because they gave me a promo code for you guys. You can get an additional 40% off of your first purchase and free shipping. Y'all, an extra 40% off. That is insane. I'm going to have my link in the description box for you guys. Um, huge thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. And I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Ashley missed me so much. I was like, will you come do errands with me? And I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly how it went. We are headed to Ulta because she has a gift card and wants to get a few things. And I'm here for good vibes yeah, and good times. Good vibes. good vibes and good times. Also throwback, this is where we had our, when our palette came out, mine and Remy's for uh, Pretty Basic. This is where we came to see it. What are we thinking? I'm stuck between a concealer or going for like, something like a full foundation it's gonna be i got like dark oh for the tan for the soft tan i would do like a cc cream because at least that'll it gives you wiggle room like right a little bit more so you can see the okay <laughs> i also can confirm i'm giving all the good vibes <laughs> what else are you wanting i th i or think light medium a light medium if it's darker or no medium because you can always put your own moisturizer to make it lighter we got, wait, I don't even know what you got. Oh my God, haul time. Oh, haul time. Okay. I got the CC It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is like almost $50. I had no idea. So expensive. I had no idea. I also got a heat protectant, a travel size dry shampoo, and a beauty blender. This came to $130. Also, my gift card was five bucks. <laughs> For sure it was more than that so the second he rung me up i was like oh i'll get rid of something and then i was like i literally need all of these things for italy like that's what i came for so mm. most expensive things cc cream i don't know i don't know that was really 50 50 dollars crazy that's and the same price this, as the foundation though this 20 bucks for a beauty blender mm -hmm. the other ones aren't great like you there's to, some good dupes no there's not <laughs> Let's be honest. No, there's not. I know there are good dupes. I just don't know what they are, but I know there's some that are like very. I want to say it's physicians formula. They're not good though. They're no, too but hard. There are a few. We I'm haven't tried them all. Like when it when the beauty blender first came out, yes, there was nothing com like to compare. I just love the beauty blender, but I do know that there's some like decent. I don't know. I've asked them so You're much. <laughs> I've literally tried all the dupes. Have you None tried them, all the dupes? I'm sure I haven't tried every <laughs> single one, but every single one that I've tried does not is not even close to comparable. So I know, I know what you mean. I just gotta spend the twenty bucks and get the actual beauty blender, but it's stupid how expensive it is. I honestly, get your coin. They patented that shit. Do you like my new watch? I'm pretty sure I had that watch in like seventh grade. Ash, did you have this exact watch in seventh grade? Like that. It was silver, it was thin, and it had a blue shimmery background. I'm so. okay. 
Okay. You are the queen of being like, I've done it all. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, you haven't. Just because I said I've tried a lot of beauty blenders. No, you said all. I have the tea. You just ran a red light out. <laughs> Y'all, she's crazy today. I can't believe I spent $130 at Ulta. You don't need the hair heat protectant. I do though. No, you don't. Yeah, I do for when I use my hot tools. <laughs> I've been trying to get better at it because my ends keep splitting. Are you getting haircuts regularly? I just got a haircut. So, why do you have split ends? Because I'm not using heat protectant. I don't use heat protectant. I don't have split ends. What do you mean you don't use heat protectant? I don't, I don't, I literally don't use heat protectant. I mean, I do sometimes. I'll go in waves, but right now, no. Ridiculous. <laughs> Welcome to a very aesthetic day in my life. My house has never been so messy. And here's the thing, I always vlog when my stuff is messy and I organize or clean it. And I know you have no reason to believe me, but I really have been so much better lately. And this is the worst it's been in months. I could hide this, but I figured I'd give you the content, baby content. <coughs> I'm still sick, <clears throat> if you can't tell. On top of that, I had the worst sleep of my actual life. I had a Celsius for the first time in a few weeks, which we all know, I drink them all the time. So even taking a few weeks off is like not that groundbreaking. Like it, it shouldn't have kept me up till 6 a.m. I mentioned in my last vlog that my back's been hurting ever since we got back from Tokyo. It is still so inflamed, I don't know what to do. I really thought it would just kind of go away, but it was so bad I was tossing and turning all night. Then, because I've been traveling with different time zones, the time I've been taking my anxiety medication kind of fluctuates. When it fluctuates, I feel like I get more side effects, like if I don't take it at the same time every day. And one of those side effects can be insomnia. So I feel like it's the perfect combination, like the perfect storm of my meds not always being at the same time, my back being so inflamed I couldn't get comfy, the Celsius that I had, which I hadn't had that much caffeine in honestly a few weeks. And then I was just like on my phone scrolling for a long time. So I felt like my mind was just going 24 seven. I might've even dozed off, but my mind was so like, on like i can't explain it and the next thing i know it's like 3 a.m it's 4 a.m it's 5 a.m it's 6 a.m i've never not slept that well in my life and i wasn't even tired and obviously i'm sure it didn't help the more that i was aware of how late it was so i finally went to bed around like 6 30 and then i just woke up at 3 p.m i never understood how people like wake up at 3 p.m so yeah, the state of my house is a perfect example of how I'm feeling right now. To make it better, tomorrow's Mother's Day, which love Mother's Day, but I have to clean because everyone's coming here. My brother's actually visiting right now. He's over at my parents' house. I need to clean today and it's already 4 p.m. And then I bought Ashley these Game of Thrones like orchestra tickets for her birthday that I completely forgot about until the other day I get an email being like, are you still going? If not, sell your tickets. And I was like, Oh my God, I completely forgot. Thank God she's free. But that's at eight and that's gonna take all night. So I'm like, I have like three hours to clean and I just feel like I have so much to do. <laughs> and I feel like absolute shit. Anyways, first step is not coffee, believe it or not, because I actually have to go pick up Chloe at the, the groomers because she just got groomed. And then we will get coffee because we need that. No, it's not gonna keep me up. It's gonna get me through the day. I also look very naked. <laughs> Oh, we hate the bows. You're so pretty. Wow, you're so clean. To do list number one, check. I totally am a horrible mom and I forgot you're a carrier, so. FML. Okay, lighting is not ideal, but next step is put laundry in the wash. I mentioned this yesterday, but I've gotten so much better with bringing a laundry bag when I travel. I know that's like, a no-brainer duh thing. But lately I think I've actually realized how like beneficial it is. Cause then you can just throw it in there and you throw that in there, boom. I should separate some of these whites. So let's do that. 
Me saying you don't have to separate. Me separating. <laughs> that's dirty, that's clean. Wow, I suck. A for effort, okay? Next step, clean, hell no, coffee. I need five minutes to drink this. I actually need way longer to drink this, but I need some coffee before I start cleaning. I can't believe it's 4.46 p.m. and it feels like 10 a.m. to me. Like I'm kind of like, mm huh? As much as I'd love to talk to you guys, I'm gonna listen to Taylor Swift and do a little time lapse of me cleaning. I'm sweating. Okay, I didn't get as much cleaning done as I wanted to, but I do feel like I did a good portion of it. It is already six and I need to leave in an hour. Ashley's already on her way. She should be here in like 20 minutes. So I need to get ready. I'll probably just put my hair in like a sleek bun or something quick and easy, but I need to throw some makeup on and I definitely need to eat something. Maybe I'll order food. Now that I'm living on my own, I'm needing to learn that even though I'm so all or nothing in my head, I'm like, oh, I need to find time where I can clean versus cleaning up as I go more. So even though this isn't all the way clean, it's better than what it was an hour ago. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Let me clash. <sighs> Hello. Hey, Slay. Hi, Slay. Are you hungry? Did you eat? I'm okay. I'm not super hungry. Me either. I just don't want to be hungry later. Maybe I'll order like a smoothie. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Yeah. Creation? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do yeah. that. What okay. type of smoothie do you want? Whatever you get. Just double it. Are you sure? Okay. I'm going to do the yeah. immunity defense one. Okay. Yeah, do that. Slay. Okay, perfect. I'll see you soon. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. Threw some makeup on. It's pretty natural. Also, I'm kind of lazy and I just don't want to put on even my accent lashes. So I'm doing just mascara. I opened a brand new Rare Beauty mascara that I didn't know that I had. And I got so excited when I found it because I've been using the Fenty one. And I really, really like it. But I swear it kind of like smudges a little bit. Maybe I'm just putting too much. I don't think it's the product. I think it's a me thing. But I haven't just worn mascara, like multiple coats of mascara and no false lashes in a really long time. I know that's just like my thing. I did one coat. We're gonna do two. My problem is I have long lashes. I just wish they were thicker and I wish they held their curl more because I feel like it looks good now, but it's just gonna fall straight in like 10 minutes. And I would curl them, but I can't find my lash curler. And I don't want to buy a new one because the second I buy a new one, I'm gonna find my other one. Like that always happens. Not it looking almost identical to when I wear lashes. Okay, two coats. I also have, I don't know, does anyone else have this? I have this one lash that goes straight no matter what. It's always been that way my entire life. Eyelashes are kind of weird when you really think about it. Like they're little hairs that you put. It's like weird. It's weird. One size setting spray, obviously. I need to keep this one for when I travel. I should actually be using my bigger one. I only have the Laneige lip mask on right now, but I'll put liner and then lately I've been doing the Tarte Maracujo juicy one. Let's figure out what we're wearing. We got the goods. Mm-hmm. This will have to do. 
because we gotta go. I'm also almost out of my favorite perfume, which kind of sucks. I mean, it sucks because I'm gonna have to buy more and it's a little expensive, but I will say whenever I use up products, I get very excited because I used to always hoard my perfume thinking like, oh, I'm gonna save it for special occasions. But then what would happen is like years would go by and it would lose the scent and it smelled nothing like it originally did. So in the end, I still ended up wasting it. So now I get excited when I actually use my perfume up. I changed into my camo pants because it's definitely, I think it's gonna be like 60 degrees and I definitely need a jacket. I'm really rocking the green. Also, the red ponytail extension, a vibe. Mascara is still going strong. Okay, Rare Beauty. We are ready. We are tired. I honestly have no idea what to expect. I I can I completely forgot about it till the other day. You know what's funny is I'm like, what else are they gonna play? No, it's a whole. It's the. I have no idea. I have no idea. That's the like main thing. So is that gonna be? It also says featuring someone. I don't know. Interesting, because I don't know who they are featuring. No, no idea. But here's here's the cool part is I remember being like, I get her purses a lot. I get her like things a lot. Let's do something different. And it popped it a memory. So an experience. An experience. It's the Game of Thrones experience. Game of Thrones. Experience. I'm gonna die if there's like lasers and shit. <laughs> but like, I it could be about that on the way here. I was like, what else are, gonna, are they gonna play for the whole night? I'll like, show you the ticket. There's gotta be it's more. Like, but like, that's the one song that's like. But you know how like Hans Zimmer is like he talks yeah, you through it. Yeah. I don't know, Maybe dude. Like Anyways, we're gonna go. Here's a little fit jacket from Japan. I got it at a vintage store. If you saw the Japan vlogs, top is white fox. Camo pants are local European. Tennis shoes are Prada. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alicia's Day's jacket that she got from Japan. This is a Skims top. This is good American Alicia's jeans. <laughs> And then these are my new uh, on cloud shoes that I love and I have worn all through Japan and that you keep putting on my couch. I don't, I'm not trying. No, you do. You would yell at me. You literally would disown me as your sister if I did that to your couch. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Like, hey, hey, bye. Off the edge. <laughs> okay. We are home. We are back. It was way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Like I knew it was going to be cool. It was really cool. worse. Here editing this vlog, I don't know if my battery cut off or I just accidentally hit end recording before I fully ended the vlog, but I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. Um, memes the world. Also, do you like longer vlogs? Like I, this, I purposely, I feel like I could have split this one into two, but I figured longer. I don't know. I'm still struggling with doing vlogs more frequently, but 10 minutes like I used to do or less often, but longer. Um, so let me know. Also, of course, thank you again to Thread Up for sponsoring. Um, but yeah, comment below. Short vlogs or long vlogs. I love you guys. Okay, mwah. bye.